Hi there, I'm Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are just going to wing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to flip over the cards and see what what the messages are that are coming out for Gemini. I got some new decks so I'm checking out those. I'll have those in the description box below on the four decks that I just got. Two. Four, five, six, seven, seven decks. Yeah, seven or eight decks that I just got. So I will list those down below. And let's begin. Please, Spirit, help me see clearly the messages for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know, please? Okay, and I only read intuitively and upright. Okay, something's coming in quite quickly um, to the Queen of Wands. It looks like maybe some news of a pentacle. Maybe somebody's giving an offer for financial. Um, something for the long term and it looks like they've been patiently waiting or perhaps even healing with the temperance card these are so beautiful so we have some earth we have um, fire and temperance hmm let's see healing or waiting what are we looking at here? Spirit, is this new love coming in? Let's see. Three of Cups, maybe celebration. Queen of Cups, okay, so there's another woman here, or it could be just a man in his female side or feminine side. And then we have the King of Swords, some truth. Hmm. Let's get a little more here because I need a, a bit more to see here. Wheel of Fortune, okay. Somebody looks like they thought something was going to go one way with somebody, but you came into the picture. And the Ace of Swords might have found out some truth um, about maybe that there was a third party in here that uh, maybe wasn't known about, okay? Um, yeah, I think that this Queen of Wands really thought that she was going to have this long-term, plentiful, fruitful, uh, abundant relationship. But as things went, <laughs> she might be healing or trying to heal things with this King of Swords. But it looks like you came into the picture and you may not have known that they were in a relationship they could have told you otherwise and of course you have no reason not to think that they're gonna not tell you the truth so I'm sure you went ahead with this because there's a wheel of fortune it looks like there might be something that you two are meant to do and with the wheel of fortune being here I'm getting that um, this happened for a reason. There was some lessons that needed to be learned here between these two, the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. And then you came along with your love. And I think they fell in love with your love. <laughs> I, I don't know if they actually have ever felt love before because even though there's no a lot of cups here, um, 
that's why I'm saying it. Like the Three of Cups is a celebration normally, but in this case, I think it is actually uh, three people, and it might have to do with getting some money. Maybe this queen wanted to take your place uh, in the thick of it, you know, in the swing of things, and figured maybe that they would get this with that person. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. What else, Spirit? Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody's in their head. It could be the Queen of Wands. She's pretty upset. She's moving forward. Or it could be you. Yeah, so you want cooperation. Devil's here. And the King of Wands. Ooh. Temptation, possibly. Could be a uh, Capricorn. Yeah, there's some regret here. So there might be some truth that needs to come out about this third party. These three people here, right? So... I don't see any walking away just yet. And then I see another person in the way here or in this situation. There's three people, four, maybe even five people, six people. Wow. Six people, Gemini. I think the same thing happened for some other um, sign here that I just did. I can't think of it now, mind you, but that's okay. All right. <clears throat> So it looks like hmm, three, four, five, six, maybe the devil, six people. So it looks like you have a lot of regret or somebody has regret could be a person. Gemini, uh, something's moving forward, some cooperation from the devil. The Knight of Wands is here, so looks like they're coming in too. It could be that you're single. Uh, it's the Nine of Pentacles out here. I don't see the Nine of Pentacles yet. Okay, so it looks like somebody feels like they missed an opportunity here and they want a new beginning. And they are at the nine of wands, so they're they're feeling the weight of this separation, I think. And that is the Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands could feel this as well, because there's two people here. Three people plus your guys or your just because they're males coming out here doesn't mean necessarily that it's the male person it could be the female coming out in their masculinity <laughs> yeah okay so yeah they're <clears throat> they're feeling the weight of this and you're you're just working away la 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 not really even paying attention to any of what's going on here you're just doing your thing <laughs> or your person's doing their thing and you've got the weight of the world on you but you want this new beginning with this person um after a heartbreak uh but you still want to marry this person so with the hierophant there and the broken heart i think there's um <clears throat> Yeah. Could be a broken con contract as well. Let's see. It could be a, um, an old contract, old soul contract that got broken. Yeah, you walk away. Or they do. 
Queen of Swords, yeah, ready to cut out anyone for anyone that comes towards you with any kind of love. They have to come in right. With the lovers there. Yeah, you're guarding your heart now. You're guarding it with like major defense. Very defensive. Ready to uh, <laughs> take a bite. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords. Yeah, betrayal. There was some betrayal or something here. So you're you're guarding your heart for sure. Um, because of betrayal and heartbreak. Maybe even turn down proposal or some kind of contract that you didn't want to get into. But Ten of Swords here is. Or, yeah, ten of yeah, ten of swords is betrayal and heartbreak and mm, yeah, not much fun. So it looks like it's ended. And whatever this is, I don't think you <laughs> let anybody in to tell you the truth. I think you walk away from all these people and just say, no, I'm I, I'm done with the heartbreak. I'm just gonna work. I'm healing from my heartbreak. I turned down the proposal that was given, or you maybe, yeah, maybe it was a contract and you walked away from it. Something wasn't quite right here. Yeah, you've, <laughs> you've had, you've been down this road before. This ain't your first rodeo or however you want to put it. <laughs> All right, so let's get some romance angels and see where the love is here for Gemini. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Oh, I didn't even light my candles yet. That's not cool. I always do my candles. <laughs> All right, what can you tell me, Spirit, about romance? So, okay, let us see here. Um, I don't usually do this in reverse, but this tells me with it being in reverse there, it might not be coming in right now. Heart to heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other and trust, okay? The situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? And let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. <laughs> All right, so that's a part there. Do we wanna do a couple more? Maybe a couple more, yeah? Let's see. So there's some control issues. Somebody needs to have a heart to heart. Maybe they weren't bringing their true self forward. And somebody has trust issues because of all this, because of all the juggling uh, or third party here. Yeah, there was deception, okay? Now somebody was wearing a false mask in this relationship, so like I said, to me, it looks like between the three people here in the beginning um, with this third party here and the healing temperance angel and the patience and the planning. Yeah, and you're just looking for somebody with truth. And I think you got some truth here. And I think this person um, really did have uh, nightmares about it, wasn't sleeping, was very upset about what was going on, okay? Um, maybe saw you moving on and maybe looking for that cooperation, right? With the three of pentacles. Somebody that's got the same kind of mindset or values somebody that's going to help you achieve what you're trying to achieve or your path you're supposed to be going down uh, requires two people. It's not just a one man show.
But you're guarding your heart because you were just hurt. You just recently or in the last couple weeks, I'm going to say there's been some, well, I guess even more than that, I would think at least a month that you haven't really <clears throat> had this person talk with you because you found some things out. You knew about some things. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you might have a difference in spiritual beliefs. Could cause friction. Uh, maybe you're spiritual and they are religious. And maybe they go to church and you don't. And you cuss and they don't. And you drink and they don't. Or <laughs> I'm just saying, right? Could be anything. Um, but the reason you might have this all happening like this and having that close bond, and it's so funny that I said a past life here because past life contract, because it says past life relationship, you have known each other before. So that could be very good reason why you're having such a hard time pulling away from this person. There was something that needed to close out from the past that maybe happened in a past life if you believe in past lives and reincarnation. So, um, my theory is we're the orbs uh, running around this place that some people can see and some people can't. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, and I think they're all right here you know, they can be seen, I think, if they wanted to, if you could pick up on it, or if you're sensitive enough, sensitive enough to feel it, or hear it, and you're in the right, and you're open to it. <laughs> you have to be open to it. I know it scared the hell out of me from when I first saw it, and I was just a kid, and it was the orbs racing around on my ceiling, and I, and they were different colors, and I had no idea what the hell that was. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> it was the, the flame got a little hot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. You deserve love. You are lovable. Let's see what else. <clears throat> Everybody's got their own beliefs on how the universe works and how we're all here. And some people just think we go dark and that's it, right? But I, I think our spirit lives on. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So just try to keep it in a positive, upbeat. Um, maybe not too serious. Be a little playful here. I saw. Where's the playful? I'm sure I saw it. Yeah, right here. The playfulness um, to recapture romance. Allow your inner spirit to have fun and shine. So... Don't take it too serious. Don't try to control everything. Trust. Have the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Figure out what that deception was. And um, make sure that heart-to-heart -heart, that you're getting the truth. Don't just rely on that one person. Dig a little deeper if you have to. You need to know the truth and that you can trust this person. And Spirit says you can. Uh, the situation is calling for you to have faith so trust that the universe will bring it to where you need it to have let go of the control issues and I think these religious factors I think if you talk about what you both find acceptable possibly in the house or whatever Maybe you read tarot and they don't want you to do that or, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's something you guys will have to discuss and yeah. Well, there's also new love here. So you might have to choose between two. You have a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, well. <laughs> Well, let's find out what your person has to say and let's find out what your new love might want to tell us with the unhidden truth or the 
yeah, the hidden truth. <laughs> I'm hidden. The, the hidden truth, because that's what we want to know. We want to know the truth. And if this person lied before, I, I can understand why you're having a hard time trusting them now, or if you can. I mean, I guess it depends on how many people have screwed you over through your life and how much fuckery you've had to deal with. <laughs> really. <laughs> so let's see. My life is not as together as it seems. No shit, Dick Tracy. Because you know something? To me, um, there's some things that were deceivable here. I mean, especially with the third party. Especially, uh, looks like an immature love. Maybe they haven't had a lot of experience in relationships. I'm so attracted to you. And this is still your person, okay? I am becoming a better person. Well, that's good. That's promising, right? That's all you can really hope for. I replay our conversations over and over. Hmm. Get a couple more. I sometimes stay awake thinking about you. Okay. I think there's a lot of love here. I feel you leaving me behind. You came closer than anyone. So maybe they really had a hard time with getting close to somebody. Maybe they had issues with love before where they had a hard time healing their heart with that. Let's find out what this new love spirit. Can we tap into the new person, the new love? Mm. A new person stirred your romantic feelings. I'm starting to understand our connection. Okay. You and I were too young. Maybe this is someone you knew or met when you were younger. I will wait for a sign from you. Hmm, maybe they know that, oops. <laughs> maybe they know that you have someone else that you're entertaining right now. And if you're not, maybe um, if this didn't work out after they told you what they did, that's up to you. That's your free will if you take them back or not. But knowing that there's a new person possibly coming in, and it seems like, it might be uh, spiritually based if they, if you don't know them and they're already talking about your connection. Either that, you know them from the spirit realm, maybe um, the 5D or whatever. And then it could also be that they're quite intuitive or psychic and know that you're the person that they're supposed to get together with. Okay, because all those things can be a possibility. You know your story, though. I wish I could take back my words. So maybe they have spoke to you at some point and didn't say very nice things. So this very well could be someone you knew. Uh, it could be this person coming back as your new love. They're just gone through what they needed to learn learned it and now they want to come back in okay because that it's funny when they say new love it's just where that person has grown some right and then when they've grown they come back in as new love right because they've learned their lessons right now they want something new with you okay because you can interpret it that way too because that is another thing that they will do is they will come back around and see if you've learned your lesson. Did you learn your lesson? Are you still going to take back this lying, cheating person that put you through all this? There was other people involved. It looks like uh, at least a few other young men energies. So could be that they all got together and aren't saying very nice things about you because they are wish they could take their stuff back and it could be they screwed up things with you and now they got mad at you and retaliated because uh, with the knights 
And the, yeah, with the knight's mentality, it's like a teenager, right? So that low vibrational, no offense to any teenagers, it's just that if they're in their 40s and they're acting like they're 18, you know, because they haven't had a lot of life experiences, then, you know, as somebody that's wanting a mature type of relationship, isn't even going to look at this person. They've got too much growing up to do. They have too many life lessons to figure out. And maybe they don't want to go through all those lessons with you. They don't want to have to do all that. They've been there, done that, don't want to do that again. You know, they're looking for a more mature love, right? Something that is um, no games, no bullshit. It's just real, just something real. And they're not looking to play all those 20-year-old games that people played when they were in their 20s, you know? It's past all that. You're not a kid anymore. And if you're like 60 and you're still playing these games and this is your lifestyle, well, then that's up to you. I mean, you still eventually will go through lessons. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Maybe you won't. It's a free will thing, so... And if you want to get that growth, you'll learn the lesson. We will be together again. Wow, so this person might be strategizing. Maybe that is some of the deception too that you don't know about. So maybe they've decided what they want to do now. Right? Any more messages, Spirit? Okay. You speak to me through music. Oh, there you go. Can we get one more, please? Spirit? Thank you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So they're taking responsibility. So there might be some growth here. But you have your free will, and so does this person, right? So it'll be up to you what you do. I lost myself for a little while. Yeah. Okay. Let's get a couple. Oh, I know what I said too. I'm going to do these ones here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, that was fast. These are very slickery, so. Freedom! Yeah, there's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. There you go. Gemini. Let's see. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So if you don't like what's going on, speak up. Say what's on your mind. Don't be afraid to be you. Like, if you don't like something, say it. You don't have to say it in a dickish way. I mean, you can still say it in a nice way, right? Let's see. What do you got, Spirit? Any messages? Oh, that's so many. Oh, that's way really too many. Okay, just a couple, please. <laughs> All right, I'll take those ones. Don't make these... Oh, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. See? The only one you're lying to is yourself. You know? <laughs> yeah. Try being true to yourself that you can be true to others, that once you realize that, you'll be true to others as well. You know, you don't have to put on these masks. I don't know why people do. Just be you. Be happy to be who you are. And, you know, society shouldn't be dictating who can be what, you know. I really, I mean, shouldn't God be doing that? <laughs> Just follow the signs. Follow your heart. Follow what you need to do in this lifetime. Maybe you have a purpose. Go after that purpose. 
healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. There you go. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. Okay. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life. Okay. And create unnecessary stress. Okay. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So just chill. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gemini. <laughs> or your person. Or whoever needed to hear that message. <laughs> Chill. Beware of what you are projecting for qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. <laughs> this could be a twin flame. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So you might see something like the you do, and it's reflected back from this person. And you're like, oh my god, I do that. Is that what that looks like? Oh, I'm not doing that again. I don't like that. That's not a good look. <laughs> you know? And you see yourself in that person. And you're like a realization, like an epiphany of click. Oh, um, okay. I might change that quality in myself and go a different way. <laughs> you know, beware of what you are projecting. Oh, I think I already read that one. So there we go. We got that message there. What else do we want to do? What do we got for time? Oh, well, you know, there you go, Gemini. I think we're just going to leave it there. I looked at the time of how long this video has been. So, um, <laughs> please share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And you won't miss another Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot messages.